what's going on everybody this is Matt Does Fitness and I did have a joke about a fat badger but I couldn't fit it in my set okay it doesn't really work because I'm not actually doing a set but it's a pretty funny joke so I thought I'd use it okay this is my bench press highlights from week five of cycle three um, now I say bench press highlights with a pretty generous pinch of salt because this week, uh, as was the case last week, last week with my bench press, uh, it kind of sucked. Um, I mean, I feel like I've hit a bit. Of, I feel like I said last week. I feel like I've hit a bit of a plateau. Basically, my shoulders aren't feeling great at the moment. I don't think the front, the uh, the change to low bar is really helping. They're kind of sore quite a lot of the time. Um, and what happens is that as soon as I get slightly tired, I lose the ability to lower the bar slowly. So I end up just dropping it on myself, which means I lose all my tightness, and it obviously makes it that much harder for me to complete the reps. Um, on the plus side, I did have a reasonable session at the end of the week, but obviously I'll get to that in a minute. So what I thought I would do is, while you're watching this uh, crappy uh, attempt at bench pressing from me, all of my reps and sets are at the bottom of the screen, by the way, I'll tell you a pretty funny story. In fact, two funny stories, but the first one is funnier. So here we go. Um, I have recently been informed, been informed by a couple of people that there is someone on a, uh, like a fitness blog type site, I think it's called 4chan, um, who is impersonating me. So, he is effectively uh, posting videos of me and pretending to be me by responding to comments and having discussions with people. Now, not only do I find this pretty friggin' weird, but it's also quite annoying because obviously uh, this person is presumably talking as if he is me and I have no idea what he's saying, but he could be saying anything and obviously I don't want people to think I'm a weirdo or, uh, I don't know, if he's, you know, if he's coming out with terrible banter or swearing or being offensive or whatever I would obviously rather not be tarnished with that brush so what I would request is that if any of you for any reason happen to be uh, you know members of that site or you use that site please tell him to stop doing it uh, obviously if you know anyone that what you know looks at that please let them know that obviously is not me uh, I do not use any other sites obviously I have a Facebook page a Twitter page and an Instagram page go and check them out by the way um, but that is it I do not use any other blog uh, any other websites at all so Anything you see linked to me is not me. I can assure you that right now. Uh, so yeah, if you are on there for any reason, tell him to stop being a weirdo and using my stuff. Um, yeah, that's the first story. Uh, and that was my first session you just saw there. This is my second session. So in the first session, I basically did some random crap. I wanted to do triples at 309 pounds. I felt weak, so I sacked that off uh, and then sulked and did some other stuff. I then, in this session, wanted to do sets of five at 130 kilos. 287 pounds the first one I felt really good and then suddenly I hit a wall on the fifth rep and you'll see what happens in a second I almost dropped the bar on my head uh, I get to hit that's, that's, the, that's the fourth one there I get to the fifth one I get like half of the way up and then suddenly I just hit a wall and you can see there I've obviously overestimated my ability to get that and that guy luckily came in and saved me it's quite funny I always tell people just to give me a lift off and then leave it alone I told the guy to leave it alone before the set but thank god he didn't because otherwise I would have probably dropped that on my face. Um, okay, I then uh, kept the same weight, got to three reps and realized it wasn't going to happen. So I think I then kind of messed around with the weight, tried a couple of sets at a heavier weight, a couple of sets at a low, uh, lower weight. But yeah, as with the first session, it was just really hit and miss. Um, no real consistency, uh, just very frustrating with my bench at the moment. Um, okay, on to story number two. So... Obviously, uh, in the old days, YouTube messages were quite common. I used to send and receive messages quite frequently. However, when the whole Google Plus uh, change everything occurred, uh, they, the kind of messages went out of the window because obviously you get notifications and stuff and comments, comments show up differently in a different section. So I stopped uh, paying attention to the messages. And to be honest, up until recently, I was under the impression that messages didn't even exist. I had no idea they were still there. However, I literally yesterday noticed uh, the message section. I went on it and I have about 30 million uh, messages up to like four months ago. So obviously, I've not been on, on my messages in four months. Um, so I would like to take this opportunity now to apologize. If you have sent me a message over the last four months, I've not responded to it. It's not because I hate you uh, or because I'm rude. It's because I am stupid and was unaware that messages still existed. So I'll go through and reply to some now. Obviously, the ones that are miles old that are asking me questions about something related to that time, there's no point in me replying because my response will be irrelevant and you uh, you may have already answered the question. But yeah, I just thought I would point that out now because... Um, yeah, you know, if, if you have messaged me and you think I'm ignoring you, that's obviously not the case. Uh, and I just thought it was funny because I have a lot of messages. Um, it's quite interesting, actually. Loads of spam there as well, but loads of messages asking about stuff or asking me to 
I don't know, do stuff on websites or be endorsed by uh, different, I don't know, clothes or supplements or whatever. Um, and it's a bit awkward because I have not responded. Um, so I probably have a reputation now for being incredibly rude, but there we go. Um, right, here is my accessory work from the second session. So as you saw there, like I said, it was really, really kind of random. Uh, the, the working sets were up and down. Um, I just wanted to, I don't know. Instead of sticking with the, the plan, because I'm missing reps, I try to make myself feel better by doing some heavier sets and then some lighter sets to get reps in to compensate. And like I said, it was just a bit of a mess. Um, so I did some dumbbell uh, work you saw there, and then obviously I moved on to this machine here, the chest uh, fly machine, which I very, very rarely use because it's uh, about 300 years old, and I'm scared it's going to, like, I don't know, collapse. Um, but yeah, I use it today, and actually, to be fair, I do quite like it. You feel quite a decent amount of chest engagement and medial chest engagement, which is obviously quite hard to get. Um, it does look quite weird, to be fair. Those kind of weird studded leather cushions, they always kind of intimidate me slightly, but I did three sets of, I think, about 12-ish on those, um, and that was pretty much that for the session. So my third session is coming up here. This is the third session of the week, and this one, to be fair, was actually fairly good. So... I went for 303 pounds, 137 and a half kilos for five sets of three, and I got them. Um, and this is pretty much the best I've done. I've done this session at 140 kilos, so for, uh, 309 pounds. So it's only a slight drop, and my reps actually felt quite good, to be fair. So I'm fairly happy with that. That's kind of a, a little bit of a silver lining to the uh, crappy bench press cloud that this week uh, brought. So yeah, I'll, I'll settle for that. I mean. I've done more previously, probably that was about two weeks ago that session, but this is still a reasonable weight, um, and up until probably the fourth set, it felt quite comfortable. It felt like I had a couple more, maybe one or two more there on a couple of the sets, so I'll take that. Uh, shoulders didn't feel as bad in this session. Still, it's mainly my left shoulder that's causing me problems again, which is since the change to low bar, um, and the issue is predominantly just, like I said, the fact that when I get tired, uh, I lose the ability to lower the bar slowly, so my eccentric phase gets um, obliterated and I end up pretty much dropping the bar on myself which is A obviously uncomfortable B more importantly means that I lose all that tightness and that tension and the bar doesn't always go in the right place and it makes it much harder as you saw there for me to uh, complete the rep. I'm hoping obviously at the competition because it's just singles and because I won't be doing too many I should be okay um, and I still feel like to be honest I still even though this is all crap I still feel like my, my maximal strength has not really been affected that much, so I still feel like I've got a decent chance to at least hit what I've already done, potentially sneak out <coughs> Sorry, sneak out a small PR, uh, but we will see what happens on the day. So there's my fourth set there, I got all three of those, I was happy with that. The fifth set, uh, spoiler alert, I did not complete, but I was very close, um, and what I normally do is, if I'm doing five sets of three and I miss the last rep of the last set, I will still count it. <clears throat> as a completed session and I'll up the weight because otherwise uh, I find it pretty demoralizing doing the whole session again. Uh, here's my it's a second rep and then here's the third rep coming out here. I pretty much knew I wasn't going to get it before I even started the rep. I uh, got a little bit of help there. Not quite, a lot of, quite a lot of help actually but yeah I finished that. Um, and that was my bench press and then I finished that session accessory work wise with a little bit of incline uh, bench or kind of like barbell press I guess. Uh, three sets of I think seven or eight down to about five or so trying to go reasonably heavy I did plan to do this as accessory work for every single session but I think with the issues I'm having with my shoulders at the moment I'm gonna kind of have to pass on that and maybe just do it once or twice but still I think it'll be enough to be to cause some adaptation and obviously hopefully carry over to my bench press um, and then I finished that session and the week with some overhead uh, tricep extensions uh, I did three sets of 12 down to about 8 or so of these, again trying to go relatively heavy, um, and yeah, I like those, you feel a massive amount of tricep engagement when you uh, incorporate a little bit of shoulder extension in there as well. And that, my friends, was my session, and that concludes my week, and a pretty crappy week at that, but like I said, it finished on a little bit of a high, uh, relatively speaking, so I will uh, not be too upset about that. So... Hope you enjoyed the video guys, please like, comment, share, subscribe as always and I will see you tomorrow.